if you need leads and you don't have this yet, please set this up as soon as possible, guys. It's the greatest free marketing asset you can have online. Okay, friends, let's get to this awesome content. This is a webinar that me and my great marketing professional, Jason Call, did a couple weeks ago. We do these live webinars for free um, every other Tuesday in our Facebook group uh, called the Handyman Journey Mastermind Group on Facebook. So if you're not part of that, there's a link to that in the description below. Get involved in that. We also have another super awesome Facebook group that is geared towards business owners and business builders. It is a private uh, Facebook group geared towards people wanting to grow their handyman business specifically with employees. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment below. I will get you some information for that. But without any further ado, let's get to this awesome content by Jason Call. And like always, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content. Thank you all and enjoy this content. What we're going to do, we're going to jump into uh, quickly cover like Google My Business. Uh, what that is and we're going to jump into honest lee's uh google my business account uh just to kind of walk you through like a quick just an overview of things that you need to pay attention to uh so i'm going to share my screen here we'll see uh let's see hopefully it just works out nice yep there we go are we good yep looks All good right, man. okay so first off um what you need to do is uh, go to business.google.com. Um, and a lot of this is highlighted. We actually have a guide on our website. So handymanwebdesign.com, go to about resources, Google my business optimization guide. It's so important that we have it right here. So um, definitely check that out uh, You know, if I talk too fast. So business.google.com, if you don't have one, um, you'll be prompted to sign in and uh, you know create the account. Um, so, oh, before we dip into the account too, why is this important? So let's go, any man near me. Uh, so here's the ads, 15% of clicks go here, about 35, 50% go here um, in this map section. So 35, 50% of clicks come right here to the best looking uh, profile. So this would be Auburn Handyman for me. I live in a pretty rural area, guys. So the competition's pretty weak around me. Uh, but this is the power of Google My Business. Auburn Handyman is instantly going to get my phone call. Um, and even if you cannot rank here, uh, it does. It can take some time and some work, and there's a lot of variables. Um, you could still be in this list. I mean, shoot, even uh, because Handyman's in my uh, business name, I'm here. Um, so you can see you want to be here um, because a lot of people, that's how they search. That's how I personally find somebody. Uh, you know, like I recently had to go uh, find a plumber, so plumber near me. Um, all right, we're actually running this guy's ad. That's funny. Um, <laughs> so this is like what I did, and this is the guy I hired. I mean, he had seven five-star reviews. He's a small business. Um, you know, I like supporting that. You know, these are this is a bigger company. Um, so anyway, this is the power of Google My Business. You can be here, and it's free. So go to business.google.com and you'll create a profile. So here's Honestly Handyman Services, uh, his Google My Business. Um, if you look up Handyman Citrus Heights, we're gonna see, here's his ad and boom. Honestly Handyman Services. Even ranking above Handyman and Citrus Heights. <laughs> nice. <laughs> gotta be a spam listing. So here's the power of that. And there's like, how many people in Citrus Heights? Like over like 100? There's 80,000. How many? 80,000 80, people. That is a lot of people. So um, just one more example of Google My Business. So once you create your account, guys, this is your dashboard. Um, what you need, we're going to just quickly cover what you most need to pay attention to. There's a lot of things in ranking Google My Business. I'm not going to get into that. We're just going to kind of dip into the basics because this is what I see most frequently that people are missing out on. They do not have this profile even set up or set up correctly. Um, so you're gonna want to get that profile created. There's a verification process. Then you're gonna get this dashboard. Obviously your business name goes here. Um, if your business name does have a uh, handyman or handyman services, you will rank higher in Google My Business. That's just a fact. Their algorithm looks at this uh, for relevance. Um, so if you have handyman services in your business name, it's a good thing. So if you haven't chosen a business name yet, um, Definitely for SEO being found purposes, consider putting handyman or handyman services. Uh, that's the most highest volume keyword. 
Oh, hey, Jason, sorry. I, got a, I got a question for you on that. Yeah. Um, so there's been a lot of talk about using the, the word handyman or like home service repair or something like that, because some people believe that there's a negative connotation to handyman. Uh -huh. I personally wouldn't take handyman out of my name, but uh, from an SEO standpoint, is it uh, stronger to have the word handyman or something like home service? Handyman. If you're a handyman service you and you have not created your business name, from a marketing di digital marketing perspective, having handyman, handyman services, you are going to see search engine results faster, um, certainly within Google My Business. Um, so, you know, it's it's not recommended to put spam keywords in your Google My Business. So if your business name is honestly home repairs, don't make it honestly handyman services just on Google My Business. Um, you risk running uh, or being taken down. Um, so right, it's got to be the same over every platform, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you are a home repair company, handyman service, the 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 raw fact of the matter is that looking at search volume, people look up handyman. They look up handyman near me. They don't look up home repair near. They do, but the volume is just not nearly there to handyman because that's what the consumer thinks. That's what I think. Um, so any negative connotation, I think that's uh, something that uh, you know you kind of create that for yourself. Um, I personally, since I've been doing this full time for three years, I have seen, especially with Alan Lee and the handyman journey, um, the word handyman is getting back to where it should be. It's professional handyman services. And so, um, that's what you are. I don't think, I don't think any kind of negative connotation about handyman. Um, that's my personal opinion. I know people would disagree, uh, but from a pure ranking perspective, <laughs> You want to be a handyman, okay? <laughs> right. So, I would agree. Uh, and, that and I would question? Agree. That, that's a great question. I, okay. I mean, that's a great answer. I would I would uh, totally just piggyback on what that little spot is. Like, we are changing the game of handyman, right? Mm -hmm. In the past, handyman have been the people that, you know, show up, you know, smoking with holes in their shirt, and they maybe smell like marijuana. Like, we are changing the game. We are making the handyman business into something professional, something that has never happened. And that's happening right here at the handyman journey. So I would, I would tell you guys, do not be ashamed to call yourself a handyman because maybe right now in your area, there is that stigma, but in 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to be completely different. And you are going to be so proud to be a handyman because I'm personally proud to call myself a handyman. So thanks, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. And and also too, that relates to pricing. There's no reason why you shouldn't be charging a price that like HVAC, that plumbers charge. Like there's no reason. If you're a professional and fully licensed, insured, handyman, home repair company, like there's no reason why you can't charge $100 an hour. Like mm -hmm. there's no reason why you can't have a $150 minimum service charge because frankly, there's your best customers, your ideal customers, they are going to want to pay that because they want quality work. They don't want a ceiling fan that they look at and it's like, is that going to fall out of my <laughs> my ceiling? <laughs> you know, like they want it done right. Um, so your ideal customers are going to pay for that, uh, that value, that service. Um, and so it does tie into pricing too, a little bit. So the pricing micro course guys, that's, that's something too, that I, I talk to a lot of people that they're booked out, they're full time, but they just don't have any wiggle room money wise to invest in growing their business because their pricing is not right. Um, and so getting that dialed in, owning the fact that, you know, a handyman service is no reason why you shouldn't be charging what other home services charge. Of course, you've got to provide that level of service, that level of marketing, that level of uh, operations, so invoicing estimates, branding, all this stuff that commands that price. So I know there's tons of people in the handyman journey especially in Alan's group, that that's what they're doing. And uh, it really is kind of this movement um, of where handyman industry is growing up to be HVAC. It's growing up to be plumbing. Um, and it's really cool to see. So um, anyway, uh, let's get right back into this. Alan, if, if, if you could tell me any like questions that come up, I kind of have you know this on another screen. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I know uh, you're doing great. So uh, like I said, we'll just quickly go through this, guys, um, just the importance. So we cover the business name. This right here, this is your cat business categories, okay? Um, primary category, if you're a handyman, you wanna be a handyman. This is uh, one of the biggest ranking factors that you have control over, uh, your primary business category. So um, Alan, we're, we're just doing, like he's just a handyman. If you do remodeling, if, uh, stuff like that, then 
Uh, additional categories, there's a uh, remodeler, kitchen remodeler, bathroom remodeler, add all of these as secondary categories. If you're primarily remodeling, um, put that as your primary. Uh, there's also contractor. There is general contractor. There is fence contractor. There is drywall contractor. So there's all these uh, categories that you can uh, add if you have your specialties. So, you know, pond, pond contractor. So that's like more like landscaping, you know, there's a whole one for landscaper, landscape design. So definitely this is the most important thing. Make sure you have handyman. I, I see a lot of guys that, uh, businesses that are handyman, but they have this as contractor. People don't, they're not searching, uh, you know, contractor when they want a handyman service. So definitely pay attention to that primary category. Um, here, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about this. Add your service areas, pretty straightforward. Um, pay attention to all these extra stuff, guys. They're in here for a reason. The more information you give to Google, the better. You want to have complete profiles, not only on Google, but you want to have a complete profile on Yelp, on Angie's List, on whatever profile you are creating. Take the extra five minutes to add the photos, to put your hours in here that are accurate. Um, Google likes search engines. They like to see consistency. So, um, keep that in mind when you're looking at all these extras where, you know, hours of operation, eh, it's not important, right? You, know, I, I don't have an office. I kind of work from my home office, but pay attention to this stuff. Um, phone number, this is your short name. So definitely fill this one out. Uh, I'll show you an example of where you can use this. Uh, so we have honest-lee-handyman. So if we come here, we can instantly create a review link. So we type in g.page slash short name slash review. Um, this is in that guide on our website that I mentioned. So you don't have to write all this down or remember it. You send this to your customers and this is what they get. Uh, my screen sharing, so I'm a little slower loading here. Um, spoiler alert, it pops up a review thing. So you can see how effective that can be to consistently accrue five-star reviews on Google My Business. Very important for SEO and more importantly for uh, building trust with people that are researching you. Uh, most people are looking at reviews before they hire somebody. So if you have this link uh, using that short name, so g.page uh, forward slash short name forward slash review, it gives you an easy review link that you can just send to all your customers and consistently get five-star reviews. So you can bake that into your process pretty easily. Uh, website address, guys. Um, website optimization is directly tied to actually Google ranking in Google Maps. So, um, you know, like we, we pulled in here, Handyman Citrus Heights, uh, Google's factoring in your website too. So always connect your website. Um, you know, as we'll see, if we pull up Alan Lee's website, uh, you know, there's all the right keywords that we're targeting on his website and it's designed correctly where it's actually helping this profile rank. Um, so that's why having that website field. Uh, filled in. So honestly, handyman services in Sacramento are handyman services. You know, you can see like, uh, you know, all these, all, your website matters is what I'm saying. So definitely, if you have a website, put that in here. Um, the beauty of this services section, these will automatically populate now. That's like a recent update in the last year or two, uh, based on your category. So you don't have to worry about filling out the specifics if you don't want to. Um, I recommend checking it out. Uh, so, you know, if you put in handyman, uh, remodeling contractor, all that stuff up here in the categories, it's going to automatically populate the services area. That used to not be the case, it used to be manual, but now it does it automatically, which is nice. Uh, there's additional attributes here, uh, like if you're a veteran owned business, uh, you know, they've got all this health and safety now with COVID. Um, so let's see, we're going to actually check this one now for honestly. Um, that'll give you like a green check mark for online estimates. So if you have a website that's an estimate form, check that. It gives you a little bit more um, uh, prominence in the search because it'll have a green check mark next to your, uh, under your name that says online estimates. So just another way to stand out. Um, lastly, guys, just to wrap this up real quick, um, everything's in the info section. Um, business description, you know, take something from your about section of your website, just a brief uh, description of your business. Um, there's no correlation that's been proven for keyword stuffing this. So don't worry about just jamming it with keywords. Just write something that, um, uh, you know, describes your business. Um, I'll give you an, how someone could see that. So if we look up, we do a brand search. 
honestly handyman. So here's his about section right here. So that's that description. Uh, opening date, not, not super important. Uh, the last thing I'll touch on guys is photos. Um, add photos, add personal photos. Also title your photos, what they are. So right here, we'll have a picture of Alan Lee and the title of this picture before we upload it is going to be Alan Lee, owner of Honestly Handyman Services in Sacramento. The title of your images that you upload here, there is a correlation for your uh, for SEO. So um, there is a positive correlation with uploading photos that have keywords that describe your pictures and your Google My Business ranking uh, better in maps. So upload photos that are personal. I mean, you can see how many views this gets. I mean, look at this one with a vent or with a thermometer or a thermostat, 669 views. Fence, 1.1K views. Here's Frank, 1.6. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see all these personal photos we've uploaded for Alan. Um, it's important. Here's his wife. I mean, this is all just easy stuff you can do one time. Um, I think if you do the post option too, it automatically uploads photos to here. Um, so, that is, I think, my brief rundown here of Google My Business. If you need leads and you don't have this yet, please set this up as soon as possible, guys. It's the greatest free marketing asset you can have online.